And here we are, right back at the place I least want to be in this whole game. The office of McDade, Burton and Moore, at least I think that's their names. I don't actually know, because I never bothered to properly learn them. Hello, you look very depressed and... same, honestly. Hey Jenny, how goes it? Nice to see you, Mr. Price. Have you seen the big guys? N no. I don't n know where they are. Stop interrogating me. Calm down, Jenny. Sheesh. Sheesh! Sorry, sorry. Any messages for me? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, well, let me know if you find out where the bosses are. Sure thing, Mr. Price. Mm, what are they doing? What kind of evil shit satanic ritual crap are they doing? Hello. Mm, that looks very promising. And... I don't want to drink coffee now, yeah. And very, very uplifting. <laughs> it's open. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Why do you have a salt shaker in either a microwave or a safe? Neither of these places are a place for a salt shaker. Why is that in there? Anyway, we're just gonna grab it. We're just gonna take it with us, because it's gonna be important for something. Can I, can I salt the water? <laughs> can I just be a dick and salt the water? There's an opening in the bottle, I can't use salt here, but you would if you just looked for the opening in the bottle. Price, you're a dick, and nothing's gonna change that. You didn't even say, I'm not gonna salt the water, no, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna be a dick to my co-workers, no, you just said, oh, there's no opening, I can't do that. Fuck you! Okay, the bathroom, that's also very nice. Oh, I'm tempted, but I don't like public toilets. You're tempted to what? Piss here? I thought you, you were Mr. I piss never. Okay, up we go. To the hell below. The office hallway. Okay, there we go. McDade, Bruton, and more. Hello, Mr. Who are you? I've never seen you before, I think. Oh, that's oh, that's my office. I see. Hey, what are you doing? Installing a nameplate for you, Mr. Price. Yeah, I, I don't need that. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. I don't need that. He's not gonna quit. He's not gonna quit. I'm telling- I'm calling it right now. Okay, that's Bruton's office. A very nice shade of blue. Very, very, very calming. Very nice. Nothing's bad gonna happen here. It's not ringing. Yeah, obviously. It's not. You would have heard that if it was. But yeah, nothing- nothing bad is gonna happen here. It's nice, it's calm, it's- everything's good. Everything's good, I said. Okay, McDate. Is he here right now? No. A bit more aggressive, you know, a bit more stronger. He's obviously, you know, the, the driving power of the three guys. Yeah, I'm good at analyzing shit. And probably the last guy's gonna be yellow, right? For greed and money, there's there's a question mark over there, okay. Uh, yeah. Hello, Moore, are you here? No, he's green, okay. Mmm, that looks very... Ugh! No, seriously, that looks very... Ugh! It's not ringing. Yeah, obviously it isn't. It just looks very poisonous. I feel I'm getting, like, minus five damage every second I spend in this room. Okay, uh... Cool, 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 cool. Once again, I have no idea where to go. Should I just talk to you again? Hello? Hey, what are you doing? No, it's just the same thing. Okay... Yeah, we don't want a nameplate. Seriously, we don't need that. <laughs> Can we salt the coffee? I'm completely... A little salt for this... We did?! It's too salty. Why, why did we do that? There was no reason to do that. That's like, it's not the coffee our bosses drink. You know, it's the coffee that the other workers drink, probably. That's, you know, it's the lobby. Or or maybe that's, hey, John. Ah, ah, I see. I have no idea how your brain works, Mr. Price, but apparently it works good. What's that? It tastes all funny, salty even. I'm tired of these pranks. Fine, fine. I'll take a look. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> I can run my grubby little hands all over this. Okay, what's this? I think this is what Jenny connects the phone calls with. I think I inserted. Ba ba ba. Okay, what now? Okay, wait. He inserted the blue cord, right? That's what it said. I didn't read it properly, but maybe you guys did. So, blue. That is Bruton's. Bruton's. Breton's office. Mr. Breton, are you? Oh, I don't want to play as him. Speaking! Mr. Taylor is waiting on the line. Can I connect the call? What? Again? Ah, please do. 
Bruton? Hello, Bruton? This is Taylor speaking. How do you do, Mr. Taylor? Listen, I understand. Oh, mm, wrong, <laughs> wrong voice here. Listen, I understand the city is going to build a highway. I have come to accept that. What? You have? Yeah, but I think it would be only fair if my cabin was moved elsewhere. I mean, you only eat my side, not my actual home. I can make that arrange. Stop it! It's too late and too expensive for any of that! I can pay some of the expense. Not going to happen! I will send our new kid there tomorrow. He'll make sure you'll sign the papers. But... Goodbye now, Mr. Taylor. What an asshole! Huh. I never realized he was so crude. Oh, you... Oh, oh, Jesus, what was that? You didn't? Really? I thought it was kind of obvious. Okay, now connecting the red and then the green wire, I, I, I see what we do. Oh, we gotta... Really? Uh, okay, I've seen the bosses. No, no, I don't know where they are. Okay, now we're gonna get, like, the second thing from the... Whatever these are. Microwaves. Saves. There's something. Hey, I found my coffee mug. Cool. What do I want to do with that? I bet it's not salty anymore. It's hard to say no for the, to the coffee, but maybe later. Okay. Uh, coffee mug. What can I do with that? Can we sit down here? No. Okay, the only thing we can probably inter... Oh, maybe we can interact with the water? And then, I don't know, do some shit. Don't mind if I do. Cool, we drank some water. Just one more glass or mug? Oh, do I have to... Water is healthy, a little more. We have to just keep drinking, must drink more. Until I either pass out or really have to go to the toilet. I'm gonna burst! Yeah, you're gonna burst. I'm gonna make you burst now. <laughs> Whoops. I think I drank it all. Oh, and now she has to refill the water! Mmm, you are... A devious little shit. Hey, Jenny, I'm sorry to bother you again. Of course you are, Mr. Price. What is it this time? There is no water in the water machine. And I'm thirsty. What? How? I just changed the bottle today. Did you drink a whole fucking bottle? <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm going. A whole bottle? Do you know how much water that is? That would have probably kill you. Okay, card is in blue block. And now to do red block. And now we can see the crimes. Of McBurton. Yeah, McDate. Now we can go to Miss Mr. McDate's office and there we go. Ooh, stop twitching, please. Yeah. Mr. Jones is waiting on the line. All right, connect him. This is McDate speaking. Hey, man. This is J Bomb. I haven't found a new apartment yet. Could you postpone the expropriation? Just a few weeks so we can find somewhere to stay. Anything else? Do you want me to look for you? Want me to hold your hand and walk you across the fucking street? Stop calling here. I'll send someone there tomorrow to take care of things. <coughs> Jesus, that voice is rough on my throat. But dude, I real... Farewell. Huh. Funny guy. I wasn't really fond of that guy either. But that was just... Unnecessarily cruel. Oh, really? The three capitalist assholes who only want to make their profit off of people are assholes? Are you realizing that now? Price, that's a little late. Okay, I'm gonna go straight here, check what's in there. My man got a real strong blether though. Let's see, it's a rack? Why was it supposed to. Oh, I have to clock the toilet. Okay. Probably. That's the only reasonable thing to do at this point, I guess. I mean, it's not reasonable at all, but it works in game logic, so... Off we go. Hopefully this won't clock the toilet. Whoops. You're a dick, Price. You're a dick. You're just an asshole. You're just a little bastard asshole man with a top hat. Hmm. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, the toilet is clogged. Could you go and take a look, please? What am I, a plumber? You know, we hired Janitor a little while back. Uh, I'll just call him. No, 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 don't do it. I was going to talk to him anyway. So I might just, well, tell him about the toilet. That's nice of you. Aha! Uh -huh. Price! Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm very mean. Um. Uh, hey, what are you doing? 
Installing a nameplate for you, Mr. Price. Huh. Yeah, Mr. Janitor, there's something with the toilet. Don't... Okay, yeah. We don't care about that, apparently. Hmm. Oh, okay, now they are... Oh, whoa! That is... What is that thing? Huh? <laughs> really? You're just not gonna tell him about the toilet? Uh... Hello, sir. Yeah, what is that? No, 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 let me in there, let me in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. can I not? Oh, uh, fuck, shit, no, ah, god damn it. That was weird. Hey, don't touch my phone, okay? Sorry. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess. Oh, whoa, what is that thing? Yeah, okay, nah, there we go, okay. <laughs> Hello, yeah, I'm not acting suspicious at all. I turned the phone off. It's already off. It's already off. It's already off. Fuck, did we mess that up? Did we, did we, ah, oh, god fucking damn it, this, did we mess it up? So, I thought I saw the janitor earlier, but now I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you should call him after all. Okay, one second. The number cannot be connected. I think his phone is powered off. What about Murray? You need to get the toilet working again. Huh, okay, I'll go. Thank you, Jenny, you're awesome. We did the right thing, cool. I know. Okay. <laughs> From red to green, all set. I have no idea how the logic in this game is supposed to work. Like, seriously, what what was that just now? What was that? Like, that was just like four-dimensional, unnecessarily complicated chess bullshit. But now we could at least get to see what's going on in Moore's office. Definitely want to do that. Yeah. Ugh, I can't wait. Ugh. What's up, Jenny? Miss Goodwin is waiting on the line. Can I connect her? Please do. Moore? Hi, Miss Moore. Mr. Moore. I'm sorry, I'm a bit senile. This is Goodwin. How do you do, Miss Goodwin? Not too well, to be honest. My pension isn't too much. And all the meds are awfully expensive. Maybe you should have worked harder. Or eat healthier. I'm gonna slap him. I'm gonna slap him. Your debt is only your own doing. Shut your fucking mouth! That's not fair, Mr. Moore. You know my husband passed away. And all the bureaucracy and confusing laws. Well, I just don't think it's fair that I need to pay the inheritance tax. Well, you should have done the proper paperwork. There are laws, you must honor them. I suppose, Mr. Moore, I suppose. Well, the reason I'm calling is that I'm asking you a little more time. I've been arranging my things and no! The law does not compromise, there's nothing I can do. Surely they're... Goodbye. What an old hack. Mmm, flesh. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Glowing Flesh Orb. It's nice to see you. Ooh. 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 Go and show them, dear. Show who? Oh, Mom, Dad, hi. Ooh, that is disgusting. The moment of truth, son. Yeah, I'm very excited. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Down? Mm, everything is overgrown with flesh. That is good. I like that. Yes, I like flesh and meat walls. Perfect. Nothing could be better. At least the ghost of Miss Goodwin is here. If nobody got me, at least no Miss Goodwin got me. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, stop. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, uh, uh. uh, yes, I'm gonna go in there. I entered through the door. It was black as night and quiet as a grave. Only the pulse of my heart broke the silence. One more step and the lights came alive with a shout. Surprise! The band started playing, balloons floated to the ceiling, they were all there. My bosses, Jenny, and my colleagues. It took a moment for me to figure out what was going on. I had proved myself. The party was for me, for my partnership. I took a long breath and swallowed. I prepared myself to shout my resign out loud. But then something happened. A purple silky cloth revealed its secret. New sign with my name on it. 
Greed reared its ugly head, and my backbone snapped like a dry stick. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? My man does not have a single fucking moral. He doesn't. He just follows the money. He's a dick. He's an asshole. He's a fucking filthy person. And I told you he wouldn't resign. <sighs> but did you get your partnership? What happened next? Yeah, I got my partnership. Well, I suppressed my feelings, my guild. I kept working for a few years. You sure you don't want to swing? No thanks, sir. I'm on to- <gasps> Oh my god! Now we're getting evicted! Oh shit! Mm, the plot twist! No thanks. Sir, I'm on duty. I hope you don't mind if I do. Not at all, sir. I lied to myself. Well, okay, I said to myself, I just keep blowing into the balloon, you know? You only stretch so far. My, my, my broke. Is there a slip in the heck? Maybe I wanted to. Soon after that, I got fired. And the standard of living I was used to, I ran into debt big time. Lost everything. I feel pretty horrible for taking over your property now. Listen, kid. The reason I told you my story... Please say no more, sir. You really remind me when I was younger. I'll admit your story really puzzles me. I will give my career a second thought for sure. It's probably what the first good deed I've done in my whole life. Please sing it through so I won't end like I do. I will, but... Oh gosh, I hate doing this. You will have to move out by the end of this month. I know the drill, kid. Take care now. Mm, the plot twist! Okay, wait. I'm gonna roll another nap 20 on perception and I'm gonna call it right now. The person with the blown off hat and the shotgun, that was us. That was us. We're gonna do it right now. And that's how the game ends. And I remembered everything right and Price kills himself just here and now. That's how the story's gonna end. That's that's my prediction. I think this is it. No coffee? Coffee, maybe? It's not a gas oven. I can't kill myself with it. Oh, <laughs> what did I tell you? That was quite straightforward, Mr. Price. There we go. I spent my last coin to buy this shotgun. Guess it's time to use it. Yeah! You wanna empty out your bowls first? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I thought maybe, you know, leave less of a mess, but I mean, if you're going for the shotgun, so I guess that doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry we don't need the save point anymore. I don't want to. See, it's the couch. Yeah, it's the same couch. Ooh, I'm just, I'm just laying the inevitable right now. Just, you know, I'm, I'm like depressing to write a suicide note. Oh, what has to say? What comes around goes around. Fuck it. That'll have to do it. <laughs> that is not a very interesting suicide. No. What comes around goes around. Fuck it. Yeah. Good last words, my man. Oh, uh, I want to do it. I wish this game had like choices. <sighs> See, that's what I like about this game. The whole time you spend playing this game, you have to do stuff you don't want to be doing, and usually that would make a game bad, but not with this train because. It creates a parallel between you and Price, because Price keeps doing something he doesn't actually want to be doing. And if you as a player want to play the game, you have to do stuff you don't want to be doing, because that's the only way to play and finish the game, because there's no choice. You don't really have a choice, and I think that's not a very great thing about like the commentary of the game. Obviously, it's a commentary on capitalism, and I think there's this illusion of choice thing going on that we also saw. I'm just, I'm just going like big theory time right now, but we also saw that in Squid Game, uh, most of you will probably have watched that. There is the illusion of choice, like technically you can just stop playing the game, like both with Squid Game and with this game, but you know in Squid Game it's like you need the money, you don't really have any other choice. It's not about greed, it's about having, you know, you're g being given a choice, but it's not a real choice because the choice is actually just doing whatever it needs to survive or dying. And most people will pick option number one until they just completely break. And that's what we see right here, right now. Yeah, um, I'm just delaying the inevitable. Uh, I think it's time to finish the game. And I think we all know what that means. Gonna keep the note to myself. And off we go. But where?
I think we're gonna, gonna need to sit down on the couch outside. <sighs> yeah. You know, this makes this whole thing very bleak. It's literally just... You know exactly how it's gonna end. Like, that's it. You know, he's gonna kill himself right there, right now. There's nothing you can do. Neither as a player, nor as a watcher, nor as anybody else. And that's it. That's the end of the game. And I think that is also a very interesting parallel to how depression actually works. But oh well, enough talk. I feel bad for him. I hope he will be fine. I just want to get away from here. And that's it. That's the strain for you. Jeez. Jesse McConan, you sick fuck. That was... You know, a lot of times I was like, oh, that's game. It's kind of weird, it's kind of weak. You know, the riddles are kind of weird to solve them. Um, but yeah, the message is there. And it hits you right in the face. <sighs> hey players, this is Jesse McConan writing. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. This was a speed project of mine. The whole game was made within three months. That is impressive. Though I got some help from my wife, Jenny. Ah, he named a character after her. She had lots of great ideas that ended up in the game. It would be a very different game without her. Thanks, babe. Also, thanks to my kids Rico and Minya for those few moments of peace. They were pretty noisy at times. Thanks to my brother Juso, who did a lot of bug testing. I swear you, the game would be a total wreck without his help. A huge thanks to Mr. Carl Quakely. He did the proofreading, there would be tons of spelling mistakes without him. Oh yeah, check out his WordPress. Okay, so, 82 days, 620 hours. A lot of coffee, a lot of water, 16 brainstormings in the sauna, cool bands he listened to. There's a lot of metal bands in there. That would be all, thank you. Jeez. Ooh, the ending, oh, the ending. Oh. You know, I'm not even that attached to the characters. Like, there's not a big emotional attachment to the characters, but... Oh! Wow! Yeah, that's a message. That is like... I'm not even like... I'm trying to find the right words here. Kiss... You know, I think... What makes this game very great... Like, on a surface level, it's an okay game. It's nothing outlandish, it's nothing... Show-stopping, like, on the surface level, it's a walking simulator with a few puzzles. But below that, there's a message. And even though that message may seem very, um, you know, superficial almost at first, like, you know you're a person doing a bad per uh, thing, and it's about guilt and about not having another choice in the system we live in, and you kind of know what it's about. But during the journey that you take with this game, you have to do a lot of things you rather not be doing. Like picking up bloody meat, or blowing your fucking brains out. Um, and I think this is what makes the game great. Because in real life, I think many people struggle with not having another choice. And, well, having, technically having another choice if things were different, but more often than not, they're not. So you're stuck in there with whatever problems you might have, be having. If it's money, if it's your own mind, if it's depression, if it's anxiety, if it's whatever, you're stuck in it. And if you try to search for help or for a way out, it's fucking difficult because there's a lot of issues that people without your problem may not see. and. There, a lot of people are gonna tell you it's easy, but it's not. And I think this is what the game does perfectly, because there is no way out, there's absolutely no way to deviate from the storyline and from the things you have to do. And 
you sit there wishing or even searching for a different way to do this because you know it's it's more often than not with like these kind of indie games there's a lot of different things you can do different endings different ways to react to stuff think undertale delta rune for example there's a lot of different choices you can make but not with this game it forces you to keep pushing through to the end you could basically see coming from the very beginning and it is quite cruel in that and i think it's it makes you feel something it may for a second or for a minute it makes you feel like you're in that situation where you like people present you choices but you don't actually have another choice and i think this is what makes this game worthwhile and definitely worth playing well guys that's it that is the straight for you um it's a bit different from what i remembered it um as i said the message is way more bleak um but yeah I gave my commentary, I think that's pretty much all I had to say about this game. Um, and I just want you to know, if you find yourself in a situation where you have whatever problem it may be, may it be a physical problem in the real world, or may it be a psychological and mental problem, I just want all of you to know, you're not alone.